Hello, everybody. Chad Church here. Just trying to get this YouTube thing going. There's a whole bunch of really nice folks out there that have been giving me information. And, uh, Lord, I appreciate it. I'm a 56 and computer illiterate. I'm dumber than two sacks of cat shit. Um, but I feel good right now. Um, I've been struggling, made some bad choices in my life and hurt a wonderful woman and through my own personal suffrage and shame in this, I've, uh, I've come to the Lord. He was already with me. I just didn't see him, but I've come to the Lord and, uh, I've got a really strong drive. Okay. Uh, I know that the, how I've lived my life, the choices I've made, and the reason behind uh, the development of how we make choices is that's why I did what I did. Um, I was horribly ashamed because nobody should have to go through what I put my wife through. But the Lord says, Un pardon, unburden yourself on him. Also says, to, it's difficult to accept acceptance sometimes. Uh, Lord says that We are accepted as we are because we cannot achieve how we're supposed to be. Not in this light, not in this world, not in this life. We're burdened too much by the physicality, the hunger of our flesh, the desires of our weak heart and our lack of knowledge and absolution in the understanding of the Lord. Now, I'm no scholar by any means. Heck, I know so little about the Bible. If I attempted to quote anything, I'm most positive that I'd be incorrect. Maybe the sentiment would be good, but you don't mess with words of the Bible. You either say what it says or you hush your mouth. Um, I'm walking with the Lord every single day praise that praise Lord <laughs> amazingly enough I I've been shown some things that I, I didn't have a clue of uh, growing up you see I the way I was raised the Lord was a hard leather belt and um, a very strict set of rules that you are never going to be able to own up to. But what I come to find out recently in other learnings and teachings is that God accepts us as we are. Because God doesn't make mistakes. He made us. Made her. Made me. Made you every single one of you now you don't have to know God love God see God feel God even imagine God for him to know feel see and imagine you see God is so immense so vast so huge that you could imagine it like this that God is big enough and divisible enough vast enough that every single one of you us me has God right here all the time don't you see him anyone that could make what you see every day just opening your eyes anyone anything any entity
that could make the vastness of what we see every day. That's undeniable to me. Didn't used to be. I had too much pain, too much anger, too much physical uh, addiction. In what man is. But put in the right light, everyone will feel the invite of God. Growing up, I felt that there was just no chance. It was like uh, God is for other people, you know, just like yachts and airplanes. I, me? I couldn't buy a yacht or an airplane. How could I stand up? And be good enough for for God. I'm so simple. Broken. But you see, God doesn't want you to feel like that. God puts so many avenues of knowledge out there, so eventually, if you don't already have it, that you will run into the understanding from the right person that will show you God is undeniable, and He's all about you. He's all for you. He's every bit ingrained in you. You know why we're afraid? Because we don't know. You know why we're ashamed? Because of our flesh. And the love of our flesh, the choices it makes us make. I don't want to make this too long. It's my first one. I don't want to make this too long. Oh yeah. Name of the channel is Coffee with Chad. Now, I'll just leave this with it. I've been shown the avenue that allowed me to get rid of any doubt that I had and have full 100% belief because of what was shown to me and how it was shown to me. And since, since coming back to the Lord, heck, I feel so much stronger in myself. God has so much confidence in us, way more than we do. The last couple of days I've been walking with the Lord, asking Him to be just be there while I took care of some things that I was afraid of. Now, in your life, this stuff wouldn't have scared you. Heck, it wasn't anything dangerous. It was just that I was afraid of it. I was afraid to step forward. I was afraid to take that first step. I was afraid to man up. And the things that I was doing weren't benefiting me. I was stagnant. But with the help of the Lord and you folks, hi YouTube, thank you. With the help of the Lord and you folks, I'm going to rise up. I'm going to make an amazing life. Because I can't bring it to you if I don't have it. I can't show it to you if I don't live it. Don't let me quit you. That's another thing I've suffered from. I've been afraid and I've quit things. You and the Lord, you can be my friends. You can help guide me. And I can speak to you honestly. I'm broken. And I'm trying to heal. And I got a great outlook and I'm looking forward. Thank the Lord. I will talk to you soon. God bless.